Hello everyone, my name is Aisha Kada and this is PCR Online. We're coming to you live from the ESC Congress 2024 in London. I'm delighted to have with me today my friend Dr. Rochelle Sriranjan, who is an NIHR clinical lecturer in cardiology and an interventional cardiology trainee at the Royal Papworth. Welcome, Rochelle. Thank you very much for having me, Aisha. Uh, Rochelle, you presented this morning the results of the Ivory and Ivory II trials, which uh, looked at low dose interleukin 2 in reducing arterial inflammation in acute coronary syndrome patients. Could you tell us a bit about the background to this trial? Yes. So we know from population studies that patients who have acute coronary syndromes can represent up to 50% of them in certain populations with second events, which are mostly driven by uh, recurrent MIs. So what this trial was trying to do was um, trial a therapy, which is anti-inflammatory, to try and reduce these secondary events. All right, thanks for that. And what's, what was the patient population that you enrolled for this trial? What sort of yeah. inclusion and exclusion criteria did you do? So we wanted to select a population that was at increased risk of having these events. And we know that high HSCRP is a marker of this. So for this particular trial, we recruited patients who have had um, ACS uh, within 14 days of having their event and who had elevated HSCRP levels. And you randomized them to interleukin-2 and placebo. What was the primary endpoint that you would Yeah, so um, this was a double-blind placebo-controlled trial uh, which uh, randomized uh, patients to have low-dose interleukin-2 at a dose of 1.5 and placebo. Uh, the primary end of the endpoint of the trial was a reduction in arterial inflammation. And in terms of demographics, what sort of patients did you enroll and how many patients in total? So we recruited 60 patients in total. The demographic was interesting. It was a younger population who tended to be overweight and who had multiple cardiovascular risk factors. Um, and obviously their HSCRP was also elevated uh, at a median of about nine. Um, and the majority of uh, patients presented with STEMIs. Okay, and they were all on high dose intensity uh, status yes. as so well? and patients on the placebo arm were on guideline-directed optimal medical therapy, which included high-dose statin therapy. And what were the results? So the, re the primary endpoint was positive. So what we saw was a 7.7% reduction in um, inflammation, arterial inflammation, in the low-dose IL-2 group compared to placebo. And the thing about these trials is also the safety uh, profile. How, how did that look? Yeah, absolutely. So um, with the anti-inflammatory therapy, especially the safety profile is always a concern because you're fiddling around with the immune system and especially in, with infections. So low-dose IL-2 had an excellent safety profile. Uh, we didn't see any, you know, this, the infections were all mild and very comparable and pretty much identical to the placebo arm. You also looked at a longer term follow up. That's Ivory Finale. What did you find there? Yeah, so in Ivory Finale, uh, we looked at uh, the cardiovascular outcomes MACE in patients who completed the IVORY trial. And what we saw is a trend toward a reduction in MACE in, with low dose 2, uh, IL-2. And um, there were no MACE observed in the IL-2 arm and there were four individuals with MACE in the placebo arm. Uh, two of them had cardiovascular death um, and there were three events uh, which were due to unplanned revask essentially. These are, of course, hypothesis generating in terms of the follow-up data, which, which is a segue to my final question. Uh, what does this trial mean for the practicing interventional cardiologists doing primary PCI? Yes, yeah, so uh, great question. Uh, so this trial, ultimately, uh, the aim of it is that if in phase three trials, it shows that it reduces MACE, that we add it to our armory of you know, in addition to the, you know, guideline-directed therapy that we already use, uh, an additional therapy to reduce recurrent events. All right. Thank you very much, Rochelle. Make sure you catch the rest of the interventional coverage uh, from PCR Online at the AC Congress 2024. See you.